This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, I made a video about this math meme the other day. It goes over matrix multiplication. It's a pretty funny meme, but I noticed in the comments, a lot of people asked, why do we do matrix multiplication this way? So I wanna talk about why we do matrix multiplication this way. In this video, I wanna do a quick review of matrix multiplication, and then I wanna tie it into a real world example. I think this will be fun. So let's start with the example from the meme. This is a two by two matrix multiplied by a two by two matrix. The answer is also gonna be a two by two matrix. Now let's make this a little bit bigger. So the A, B, C, and D are unknown right now. We need to solve for those. This A is located in the first row and the first column. So in this matrix, we're gonna take the first row, and in this matrix, we take the first column. And it always works that way. It's the rows of the first, columns of the second. And then we're gonna end up doing the three times the five plus the six times the zero. And three times five is 15, and six times zero is zero, so this is 15. And then we can do the same thing for the B. This is in the first row and the second column, so we're gonna do first row of this one, second column of this one. And we're gonna do three times four plus six times two. And the same thing for C, this is the second row, first column, so it's gonna be second row and first column. And that gives us zero times five plus one times zero, which is just zero. And then for D, we're doing second row, second column, so we're gonna do second row, second column and ends up being zero times four plus one times two, and all that is equal to two. So this is equal to this, and that's how you correctly do matrix multiplication. Let me show you another one that I'll tie to a real world example. So for this example, I wanna multiply a three by three matrix times a three by two matrix, and the answer ends up being a three by two matrix. So now we're gonna do matrix multiplication again. This A is in the first row, the first column. So we're gonna take the first row of this and the first column of this. And then we're gonna do 20 times the 11 plus 35 times the 15 plus 36 times the 18. And then after we simplify this, we get 1393. And we go through all these, but let's just do one of them. Let's do the E. This is the third row, first column. So we're gonna to go to the third row, first column. And for this one, we'll do the 18 times the 11 plus 41 times 15 plus 28 times 18. And after we simplify all this, it's 1,317. And we can follow the same steps for these other unknowns, and these are the values we end up with. So why are we doing it this way? How can this make sense? Well, let's tie this into a real world example. We can think of each of these matrices as tables. So we have the exact same numbers, but I stuck them inside of a table. And we can give them labels to make it a real world problem. We can make the columns of the first one apples, oranges, and bananas. And we can make the rows Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And for the next one, we want to make the rows the same thing as these. So it's going to be apples, oranges, and bananas. And then the columns can be something like weight and cost. And since this is cost, let's add in a dollar sign. So now what is the answer giving us? Well, the columns are going to be the weight and the cost, and the rows are going to be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So let's say this is the context of a store that I own. For my store, I now know that the total weight of the fruit delivered on Monday was $13.93, or that the total cost of the fruit delivered on Tuesday was $1,522. By performing the matrix multiplication in this manner, I was able to summarize this data in this way. And you'll notice the rows of my final answer is the same thing as the rows of the first matrix, and the columns of my answer is the same thing as the columns of the second matrix and we no longer have it broken down by apples, oranges, and bananas. That all went away. So this is a real world example of why we would multiply this way. I hope it kind of makes a little bit more sense with this example. But beyond my grocery store example, there are a lot of real world uses for matrix multiplication. Here's a high level list of about 10 different uses. It really is brilliant the things people can do with matrix multiplication. Speaking of brilliant, let's talk about brilliant. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. And all of them are interactive, which is the most effective way to learn. For example, if you're interested in learning more about matrix multiplication, they have this beautiful course on intro to linear algebra. It has 41 lessons, and this material pretty much matches the first linear algebra class I took in college. It's straightforward to go through one course at a time. Not only will you understand the basics of linear algebra, but you'll create a daily habit of learning and building problem solving skills. And then you're going to want to keep going, like this course on vector calculus. If you want to check these out or any other course on Brilliant.org, they currently have a 30-day free trial. You can visit Brilliant.org slash AndyMath or click on the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium plan. How exciting.